You're so OCD about your lecture notes. You're so OCD about cleaning your apartment. Nowadays, the misuse of the term OCD has found its way into our vocabulary as a way to casually describe someone without OCD who faintly shows some behaviors associated with the disorder, like being organized or clean. But is that what OCD really is? Is it possible that you have fallen victim to the myths associated with this disorder? This video will help you discern myth from fact as we will debunk four common myths associated with OCD. Before we debunk the myths, let's start by going over what OCD is. OCD, which stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, is a serious mental health condition that is often underdiagnosed and undertreated. A common characteristic of individuals with OCD is the presence of obsessions and or compulsions. Obsessions are repetitive thoughts and urges or unwanted images within one's mind that can be extremely distressing and overwhelming. Compulsions are ritual behaviors or actions that individuals with OCD feel driven to perform in response to their obsessions to help reduce their anxiety and stress. Obsessive thoughts can be really overwhelming, so a person might use compulsive behavior to address their anxieties, leading to temporary relief which is eventually followed by more obsessive thoughts. Children with OCD often have difficulty explaining their obsessions, whereas most adults are aware of their obsessions and compulsions. These obsessive slash compulsive behaviors make it very difficult for these individuals to focus and get things done. Some common behaviors include having concerns about the symmetry of objects, which is followed by organizing and repetitive counting, as well as intrusive thoughts related to unpleasant past memories or fear-based thoughts that you might do something inappropriate or embarrassing. In the United States alone, one in every hundred people suffer from OCD, with half being severe cases. It is particularly important to start by adjusting your own vocabulary and only use the term OCD when referring to the disorder itself. Using OCD appropriately will help people acknowledge the complexity and the seriousness of this disorder. So, let's start with debunking some common myths about OCD. The first myth that we are going to debunk is that individuals with OCD should just relax and not worry too much. This myth would imply that OCD is a disorder caused by stress, but that is far from the truth. OCD is a complex disorder that affects an individual at the behavioral and biological levels. Even though stressful events can make symptoms worse, stress is not a direct cause of OCD. People with OCD often face extreme levels of anxiety over some tasks that we find to be merely dull. These are called obsessions. This level of stress can be extremely distressing and frustrating for these individuals. So, to overcome this high level of anxiety, they use rituals or compulsions. People with OCD do not behave this way because they want to, but they do this to achieve a sense of completeness or to control their fears and anxiety. Additionally, OCD stems from faulty biological processes within an individual's body. While the exact cause of OCD is still unclear, researchers suggest that affected individuals have differences in their brains in comparison to non-affected individuals. Often, individuals that suffer from OCD have communicational problems between the front part and the deeper structure of their brains. These individuals also have less functionality in areas that regulate impulse control. However, it is currently unknown how these distinctions connect to the specific mechanisms of OCD. Another misconception about OCD is that repetitive behaviors are synonymous with the disorder. People who do not have OCD may exhibit some actions associated with the disorder, like checking things repeatedly, doubting if they have locked the front door, or are worried about people spreading germs. These may be obsessive or compulsive tendencies that many of us exhibit from time to time, but this does not necessarily mean that we have the disorder, as these thoughts and behaviors disappear shortly after they arrive. OCD is much more serious than intrusive thoughts or behaviors that occur from time to time and can severely interrupt the person's life. The anxiety caused by a person's obsessions and compulsions has been said to reduce sleep quality. Also, these individuals are often unable to enjoy leisure activities, which directly impairs their ability to perform well at school or work. These consequences negatively affect a person's life, which demonstrates how serious this condition is. Another common myth about OCD is that the disorder is about cleanliness, however, this is not the case. Some people associate being a neat freak to having OCD due to the misconception, but it should be noted that there are many other types of obsessions and compulsions associated with the disorder. 
This can include obsessive checking, which is spending a lot of time checking the same thing multiple times, compulsive rituals, which is when the individual must complete certain tasks in a specific order to avoid anxious feelings, as well as pathological impulses, which is when an individual with OCD has a sudden impulse to do something violent or destructive. Obsessive cleaning is one of the many characteristics associated with this disorder, but it is not the only ritual that defines the illness. Another common misconception about OCD is that individuals with the disorder do not understand that they are acting irrationally. In actuality, most people who suffer from OCD are well aware of the relationship between obsession and compulsion, and they understand that their behaviors may be excessive and irrational. Our daily actions are guided by our confidence and our knowledge of our surroundings. For example, if we wash our hands once and we know they're clean, we will not wash them again. However, individuals with OCD might wash their hands multiple times even though they know they're clean. They struggle to control their actions even though they know that they are irrational. This is because the connection between their thoughts and actions is disrupted to some extent, which is the reason why most patients are often unable to control or avoid their thoughts. Their thoughts and obsessions can get out of hand and can take hours out of their day. OCD can affect an individual's social relationships, work, grades, and family, which is one of the reasons why OCD can be so frustrating for the individual. We hope that this video has shed some light on the complexity of OCD as a serious psychological disorder. Remember that casually saying that someone has OCD if this is not truly the case should be avoided.